Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, we will learn installation of virtual computer connection, login to your virtual machine, upload download your data to virtual machine, use Tally Prime for day-to-day -day operations on Tally Prime and various other activities. The virtual machine environment is designed to give you anywhere access to Tally Prime. It is hosted on Amazon web servers. The virtual computer can now be accessed using virtual connection client and web browser. The client can be installed and used on any Windows 7 and above computer. Two-step authentication process enables you to log in securely with Tally Net credentials and secure PIN. Let us start with installing our client, the virtual computer connection. Download the EXE from the portal. Double-click the EXE to install the virtual computer connection. Once the installation is done, start the virtual computer connection client. The virtual computer connection application opens. Enter the TallyNet ID, password and the secure PIN to login. If TallyNet ID used for login is attached to a single virtual machine, it will connect to the virtual machine instantly. However, if the TallyNet user is attached to multiple virtual machines, you can select the name of the virtual computer and click on Connect. As you can see the virtual computer opens, Tally Prime is pre-installed in this computer. And here is your storage drive. The storage is exclusive to your virtual computer, except when you want to share the files in a multi-user setup. There are three folders provided by default. The My Application folder has your Tally Prime and acts as the default installation folder. The My Files folder is an exclusive storage space for the user of this computer. You can store all your files and data that you do not wish to share with anyone in this folder and it also acts as default folder for import and export. Shared Data folder allows you to share files with other users in your multi-user virtual machine. Such users will not have access to My Application or My Files folder contents. Let us now start using Tally Prime on virtual computer. Double click the Tally Prime icon. In the startup screen, click Reactivate License. Provide your TallyNet ID and password and press Enter. Ensure that the license is surrendered from your local machine before you attempt reactivating. Once the license is active, you can proceed with your activities. To create a new company, click on Create Company. In the Company Creation screen, enter the relevant details. Save the company. You can also restore the existing data backup from your local system in the virtual machine. Click on the Upload icon in the DCV. Go to the folder in which you want to copy the backup files. Click on Upload. In the Window dialog box, browse the folder in your local machine which has the backup files. Select the backup file and click OK. The file will be uploaded to the selected folder in the virtual machine. In Tally Prime, click Data or press Alt Y. Click Restore. In the Restore destination path, specify the folder path where backup has to be restored. Select Shared Data or My Files folder depending on your requirement and press Enter. Under Company, Navigate to the folder containing the backup and select the name of the company you want to restore. You can select more than one company. You can select all items to restore all the companies in the backup file. 
Press enter to restore the company data. Select the company you have just restored to start working. As you can see the data path is from the virtual machine and not from your local machine. In case the backup is stored in zip format in your local computer, you can upload the same and extract the files in the virtual machine. Recording day-to-day -day transactions. Go to vouchers. Record a sales invoice and print. In the voucher printing screen, click configure, select printer and press enter or click printer on right side panel. You can see that all the printers configured in your local system are listed automatically. You don't have to configure new printers to print your invoice or reports. Select the required printer and press enter. Return to voucher printing screen and click print. Let us now experience export of reports. Open profit and loss account. Click export. In the export screen, select the file format as Excel spreadsheet. Click send to export. The Excel file will open in LibreOffice installed on the virtual machine. If you want to download this file, click on storage in the DCV and navigate to the folder. Click the file to download it to your local system. You will find the download details in the notification section. You can download any other file from the virtual machine to local machine in similar fashion. All activities in Tally Prime can be carried out in the same fashion as on your local system. You can take the data backup and then download the backup file to your local system also. You will be interested to know that data is automatically backed up when you start your virtual office for the first time on any day. These backups can be accessed via self-service portal. You can even email an invoice or a report to anyone. Similar to local computer, just enter the details in the email screen and send emails from Tally Prime. Let us now look at the connected services of Tally Prime. You can connect the company to TallyNet for browser access. Here we connect the company and you can see that the company is connected. Similarly, you can exchange information with eBay bill system online directly. You can even open multiple instances of Tally Prime to work on multiple companies. With Tally Prime already open, double click the icon. Another instance of Tally Prime is opened. If you have any local customizations configured using TCP TDL, you can upload these and configure them in your Tally Prime application. However, if you have account TDL group TDL configured, the same will be enabled when the license is reactivated. And in case you wish to keep your existing configuration, copy tallycfg.tsf from your local system to your virtual machine. All the configurations from local client are implemented in the virtual machine also. In case you connect using the client, the virtual computer opens in a DCV. In case of web browser, you will have to connect to your virtual computer from the self-service portal and the virtual computer opens in web DCV. This allows you to connect to your virtual computer and use Tally Prime from any computer. You do not have to install the virtual connection client to access the virtual computer. Open the self-service portal. 
enter your tally net id password and the secure pin click login click in action column of the virtual computer you want to access from the options displayed click open virtual computer the virtual computer opens in a new tab of the web browser as you can see virtual computer can be accessed from client as well as web browser allowing you to work on tally prime from anywhere using any local computer thank you for more information visit elcom.digital/help